welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Join us today as we do another outdoor arena review. This time, The Wolf Hunter by the Bissell Wolf Forge, handmade by Cody Roberts in Tennessee. So here we are. The knife comes with a nice red leather sheath with a belt loop on the back. And this is the actual knife. It's a rather interesting looking knife. It has micarta scales that are about three and three quarter inches long. And the blade itself is 1095 high carbon steel. And it's also about three and three quarter inches long. That gives a total of about seven and a half inches overall for the knife itself. One of the things that I don't like about the knife is that it doesn't have a sharpened spine. It's pretty rounded over and you really can't strike anything with it. It does have this interesting swoop here which is kind of a signature of the man who made this knife. As I said, the handle is micarta. It's a little bit short for my hand, but that little swoop acts as a nice place for your thumb to sit uh, when you're using it. It's a pretty sharp knife, made out of good steel. Here we are trying to do a little feather sticking and this particular piece of wood was a little bit green and my blade was sticking just a little bit to it and that made it a little frustrating but I still get some pretty fine curls. I moved to another drier stick and I'm able to get much better curls. There are a lot of reviews out there and I thought to make it interesting I figured, could I find a way to start a fire with a ferro rod, even though this knife does not have a sharpened spine? So that became my challenge. Initially, as you can see, it definitely does not create any kind of a spark. And I started looking at the very tip, and there was just a small amount of a sharpened spine at the very tip, and I was able to scrape some of the ferro rod. So I went about scraping some fat wood into a little bit of a shaving pile. I wasn't able to scrape it the way I normally would to get a fine shaving, but I did my best. You can see here I'm trying to get a spark off the very end. It was difficult. I got a little bit of a spark, but I lost it. It was a little frustrating. It took me a good while. I started to develop a little bit of a technique. Instead of my normal scraping of the ferro rod, I had to actually fling the, uh, the sparks down frustrating but I decided I was going to continue and try to get this to work. You can see here I'm starting to get the technique down just a little bit. Tried to scrape more fat wood but it really didn't work. And here we are and you can see good sparks coming off. And finally there it goes. That took about 10 minutes of hard work. What I used here was some cypress leaves that had fallen. They were very dry and burned very good. You can see here I struggled a little bit longer with the fire, but I did not have to do anything extra. I just had to blow it into life, add a little bit more dry wood, and eventually it started to burn all on its own. So there you go, guys. You can, in fact, start a fire with a knife, at least with this knife, even if you don't have a perfectly sharpened spine. I just had to get a little creative and take a good look at the tip, and I was able to start this fire. So guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in to the Paleo Hiker MD channel and checking out this outdoor arena review. I'll leave links below for you guys to check out the Abyssal Wolf Forge Facebook page like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, stay tuned here on Paleo Hiker MD for more reviews and for more videos on all things outdoors. Thanks.